What's up graphic designers? In the spirit of March Madness, we're going to be designing a poster that represents a college that you hope to attend or maybe one that you just really admire or appreciate or would like to learn a little bit more about. Um, and so in this poster, you'll notice uh, yours truly is featured prominently in the center. You're going to include your own portrait as well as these other elements and characteristics. And to figure out what you want to include, you're going to have to do a little bit of research. Um, and I will stop for a moment and acknowledge that it's Selection Sunday. The brackets were just released and my alma mater, UConn, seated number four, is going to be playing this Friday. And they're going to go all the way. I feel very confident about that. All right. So, um, I'm going to be taking a little bit of inspiration from this poster where we have a desaturated uh, building in the background. We've got some architecture with a, uh, looks like some geometry above it with some blending modes. And then uh, here's what I know. I went to the UConn website. I found lots of fun players. You're going to need to include a notable alumni in your visual. Um, so you're going to have to do some research. I decided on Kemba Walker, and I'm going to talk to you in a moment about how I extracted and desaturated him because it was a little bit of a trick like a pretty cool technique I want to share with you. And then I went to, um, I just searched UConn School, and there's lots of different programs at UConn. I really liked this visual, so I included the School of Nursing. Um, here we've got an aerial view of the campus. It's a beautiful place, as well as um, Google Maps. So here is um, what I did, and here's what you're going to need to do for the background. Um, you're going to need to press Command-Control-Shift-4, and when you do that, you're going to be able to create a selection, and it copies it to the clipboard. We're gonna to return to Photoshop, and you can see that in the background. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna click File New. I'm gonna click Print, Legal, Orientation is in Landscape. I'm gonna press Command V. I'm gonna increase the size, right? And then um, you guys are gonna do this while I'm gonna press Check to Confirm. All right, I'm gonna press Command J, Command Shift U, always Command L after we desaturate. You're gonna make the lights a little bit lighter. You're gonna experiment with the midtones until you have something that looks a little bit like this. Next, what we're going to do is press Command Shift and Enter. And then uh, you're going to get a nice light blue or green um, or maybe even like a yellowish. Sure, we'll try this. Because we're on a new layer, I'm going to use the paint bucket. I'm going to left click. I'm going to press V, hold Shift, plus, plus, plus. And we're going to cycle through blending modes that you think look pretty cool. Maybe linear burn. Maybe, I don't know about overlay. And it depends on the color. Um, so maybe we'll settle on the color blending mode itself. I'm going to press V. I'm going to press 7 for 70%. And that drops the opacity. Maybe you're going to have something that looks a little bit like this as we have right here. And then again, um, we're going to need some more images. So um, I wanted to include some architecture that we extracted. So I think I grabbed one of these buildings from the School of Law. Uh, I believe it was this one right here. We use the object selection. We applied a layer mask, and then I included this visual as well of Mirror Lake. You guys, um, Central Connecticut is stunning in the fall, and I really wanted to include that. All right, so here's what I know. I know that we've got a slogan, uh, UConn slogan. We've got the logo. We've got our notable alumni, Mr. Kemba Walker, um, as well as this background. So I'm looking right here. You'll notice that I desaturated it, and I desaturated intentionally because I wanted to add some contrast. If we disable the layer mask, you can see that there's that gray sky, sky but we don't want that. Um, and here, I just created a rectangle using the rectangular marquee, and I applied the multiply blending mode. And so um, this looks, I think, fun. It's busy. There's a lot going on, but it's also visually pretty interesting. I will say that when we look at the School of Nursing, this is um, this element is intentionally sort of behind me because if we shift it over like so, I think this looks kind of lame. I don't think that looks amazing. In contrast, uh, it has this sort of banner effect. I added a layer, sh layer style, specifically a white outer stroke to my name. And then when we look right here, Mirror Lake, which I love, um, I added two layer styles, right? So this is without layer styles. And then here we've got a white stroke and a drop shadow. And I like rotated it just a tad to make it seem a little bit like a snapshot um, over the map. So how did I create this desaturated uh, Kemba image? Well, I know that we just spent some time doing um, experimenting with color range. All right, so we've just extracted Kemba Walker from the background. I notice that when I look in the layers palette, and let's actually increase the thumbnail size, and I disable this layer mask, I can see that I was able to successfully extract him from this very busy Sports Illustrated cover. All right, so I'm gonna enable the layer mask, and now always we're gonna press Command J, Command J. 
I'm going to hide the two layers underneath. And now let's apply the uh, color range. And to do that, we're going to click Select Color Range. And I'm going to click on the blue of his jersey. I'm going to hold Shift. And I'm grabbing all this blue, right? So I'm holding down on Shift. I'm holding down on the left mouse button. And uh, that looks pretty decent. I'm going to press OK. And beautiful. So now we're not going to apply a layer mask. Instead, what we're going to do is check this out. If we use um, the paint bucket and paint bucket on the layer itself, black, let's see what happens. Great. It made the jersey and all that blue disappear, but that's not what we want. So I'm going to press Command Z. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to invert this selection. To do that, we're going to press Command Shift I. Amazing. And now, again, we're still on that, uh, that layers mask. I'm going to left click with the um, black in the foreground in the paint bucket and you'll notice that everything except for the jersey disappeared and that's exactly what we want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press B for brush and right click hardness is all the way up and I'm going to get rid of all these other elements and it's pretty much just the perimeter of his body. All right, that looks not bad. And okay, I'm going to reveal the layer underneath. I'm going to click on the layers uh, um, thumbnail itself. We're going to press Command Shift U. There we go. That's the desaturated image that we want. I'm going to press Command L because always we want to lighten the lights and darken the darks. Okay, and that looks great. Adjust the midtones just a tad. And that looks phenomenal. Okay. And you might be thinking, what about the red in his jersey? And you're right, it's true. The color range wasn't able to select everything. So what we can do right now is we can make sure that white is in the foreground. We're on the um, layer mask. I'm going to make this just a tad smaller. And now we can simply paint and reveal it. Beautiful. OK, so that's just revealing everything that was there. And if I were to you know, paint over his face, you know, that's what we have. But that's not what we want, right? OK, we'll get the red, white, and blue of the American flag. Why not? And this looks phenomenal. If you wanted to get the ball as well, we could certainly do that. Amazing. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to experiment with color range, desaturation, blending modes. You're going to get lots of fun examples of campus life. You're going to include the slogan, the mascot. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.